like against Gabriel really, but it was tough win, and I think he couldn't get a really good time in the serve. I mean, he wasn't hitting so so many first serves, and I think I, I don't know the statistics. Well, yeah, well, I was I knew I knew what I had to do against him. You know, I had to just uh, step in. I didn't go back when he was serving first serve. I tried to step in and. Still, uh, still, I was trying to take the ball early, you know. And, I mean, if, I, if I could do it, he didn't have uh, any time to play the next uh, shot, you know. If he goes serve on volley, I mean, mm -hmm. if I'm taking the ball early, it's uh, no chance for him to, to play. Second shot. The rest, it's difficult to play against him, you know, because every time you, you put the return in, <coughs> mentally you think that you need to now it's, he's going to make a mistake, you know, but actually he's not making so many mistakes from baseline. He's pushing the ball back, you know, waiting for a chance, and he's coming to volley. So it's really, it's it's tough, tough, <coughs> tough game. I mean, yeah, I was returning perfect, of course. How does it feel for you, Ernest, the first title, and also for Latvia to have a first, you know, first ATP champion for your country? Everything what I do now, it's uh, the first time for yeah. my country. So yeah. it's going to be, I, I was first one in top 300, first one top 200, first one top 100, first one to do anything. So of course it's great. I mean, I uh, hope it's, uh, it's positive, you know. So I hope uh, much more players will, will start to practice in Latvia. And just, I mean, I think it's good. It's good for tennis in Latvia. So they see that the guy from Latvia also can uh, make it to the to win an ATP event. Evo said he thought this could trigger a breakthrough season for you, getting your first title. Do you feel that way? Of course. First, I made a good result last week. Actually, I started the year really well. I mean, I played Doha. I, I lost to Federer, but in three sets, <coughs> I won two good players' first two rounds in Australia. It was. It was Another story, I was practicing, in practices I played unbelievable, I was beating everybody, uh, but I went to the match and I was like overburned, you know, over anxious to play, so everything together, it was, I was overexcited. And San Jose, a little bit struggled with my knees, in the last two tournaments, it was more or less okay, and I played well, you know, so I didn't have a bad tournament until now, maybe Australia, but but this year, is, is, I feel really good. Compared with last year, I mean, last year a lot of people expected you to make a big jump up, and it was difficult for you last year, with injuries, with with what what was the problem last year? And the problem was that uh, physically I wasn't uh, ready yet, because mm. of course my my knee started mm -hmm. to start to hurt, but the knee starts to hurt when uh, my legs get tired, when the muscles get tight, it's, uh, and the patella tendon. It's irritated and there's more pressure on it. So if I build up the leg muscles, if I build up the muscles around it, uh, my knees won't hurt, you know. And to build up muscles, it takes process. It's it's a long mm -hmm. process. It takes maybe half a year, you know, to mm -hmm. to really get uh, your body fit and ready to to play, you know. So I mean. Uh, I had a lot of questions uh, why I'm playing uh, bad, but uh, I cannot play good if I'm in, uh, in the gym, building up muscles. I have no feeling for the ball at all, no feeling how to move on court, no feeling for nothing. It's just normal, you know, and people don't understand it sometimes. And if you work hard in the gym, you lose your touch and feeling for any sport that you do, I think. I think for basketball, the same, for, for football, the same, you know. Mm. If you that's why that's why I did the uh, like, uh, long preparation before this season in off season I did like one and a half months I just had two weeks off and I really worked hard in off season so now I'm uh, doing less physical things and uh, more playing so that's why I feel the ball now but did you feel it all bad you spoiled his birthday <laughs> I mean Rodic spoiled my birthday years <laughs> open but he had the birthday the same day so <laughs> For, for us, I think it's uh, birthday, Christmas, New Year, I don't know. For me, it's nothing, no, nothing is important, no celebration. I don't remember when I celebrated last year or something. I say I just celebrate when I'm at home. That's like a small celebration for me. It's like my New Year, but it's not uh, connected with the New Year. What's
we'll see what other people have. Will we celebrate this title tonight? Maybe. Tired. <laughs> Too tired. I don't know. We'll see. It looked like you tweaked your knee early in the first set. Uh, you like the right knee. Uh, what happened in that? I hit with the knee to the ground, full power, and I have also, when I was 14, I had uh, Schlatter's. Oh, I when I was growing up, growing. yeah, uh, this this bone isn't hard enough yet. So when I hit it, it, it hurts. Now, for example, I push it and it hurts, but it's nothing serious. It's just a, just a hit. You, know? you were scared momentarily, but then you kind no, of. I wasn't scared. It was just painful for 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 a half a minute, and then it went down. You hit it with the ground or with the racket? With the ground. With the ground. Yeah. Yeah. Eva may mention that you didn't have the usual nerves you often see when somebody's playing in the final for the first time. Did you just feel comfortable or just weren't shy? Yeah. I felt comfortable. I like being in the final. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I felt uh, nobody, nobody is giving me pressure, you know. If I'm not putting pressure on myself, on this extra pressure, then, uh, then it's fine. You know, and I was relaxed. My coach told me before match, just go on court, enjoy it. It's your first final. You're a young guy, enjoy it. You know, play, play good tennis. My, my father never puts pressure on me on, on nothing, you know, he's just happy that I'm doing things what, uh, what I like to do. I think that's what's uh, important, even for kids growing up, you know, sometimes their parents are pushing them like crazy, they don't enjoy it. I never practiced for, uh, until age of 13, 14, I practiced uh, four or five times a week, a couple of hours, like one, two hours, you know, I didn't practice that much, I was, but still I was going to practice, like, uh, I was pumped, I was really happy to, to go to practice, I was going to school, doing all the stuff what regular kids do, and uh, tennis was like, like, something which, which I left my energy out, you know, and I was really happy to do it, and I see kids who are 14, who are playing, practicing six, seven hours per day, that's crazy, it's, it's super.